The Waikato district is not only the heartland of New Zealand's pastoral life, but offers the most diverse range of recreational boating activities in New Zealand. Centred in Hamilton, and being in close proximity to other major centres, the Waikato is host to recreational boaties and sports enthusiasts from right around New Zealand. Rowing, kayaking or jet skiing the many lakes and rivers that this region has to offer. Surfing or fishing from the east coast or the dramatic west coast of Raglan to Mokau. Environment Waikato is responsible for navigation safety in this wide and diverse region. Its harbour masters and boating safety advisors are there to ensure your boating experience is both safe and enjoyable. Environment Waikato's navigation safety bylaw contains rules, information and specific hazards for all boaties in the region. And along with other useful publications, provides information that will make your recreational boating safer and more enjoyable. Our popular region attracts many recreational boaties who enjoy a wide variety of different areas. Some of these have particular hazards and special rules whilst others have common hazards. Harbour bar crossings exist in several areas and should always be treated as dangerous. Our harbour masters, in conjunction with the local Coast Guard units, provide a bar crossing advisory service at most bars. Bar advice is broadcast by Coast Guard Radio in their station notices. Level 1, free navigation. Level 2, navigate with caution Level 3, not recommended. Navigation is likely to be hazardous. All bar entrances are potentially dangerous. Think carefully and prepare before crossing. Correctly fitted life jackets must be worn by everyone when crossing a bar at any time, irrespective of its condition. This is not only sensible and safe, it's also a legal requirement. Power-driven vessels crossing any bar, and the Raglan bar in particular, need to maintain their course if they're to cross the bar safely. For this reason, kite surfers, board sailors, swimmers, and any other person in the area are not permitted to obstruct or impede the path of any vessel crossing the bar. Keep out of the way. Penalties can be imposed. Some coastal and inland waterways are quite narrow. The five-knot rule applies in all of those areas, unless a special exemptions in place. These are outlined in the bylaw. Separation distances as low as 30 meters are in force in particularly narrow or congested areas. Lake Karapiro is a particular high use area that's popular with a variety of recreational users. Because of this a booking systems in place for the many activities and events. Check with the harbour master or check the environment Waikato website the lake also has several hazards not commonly found elsewhere. Hydroelectric operations can cause the lake level to fluctuate significantly by up to 2.8 meters. This can cause logs, rocks and other debris to be exposed. Be careful to avoid these hazards, especially near boat ramps. There are also power lines stretching across the lake that hang low at the center of their spans. Yachties need to be aware of this fact and keep clear. This lake and other lakes in the region have areas designated for particular activities. Check the bylaw for details. Boat ramps have some additional controls. It's most important that boats and all other items of equipment are cleaned of weed, algae and any other contaminants or debris before leaving the area. This is so other waterways don't become contaminated by weed. Powering boats on or off trailers is not permitted at any ramp as this can cause erosion, leading to the ramp being closed for repairs. Personal watercraft are also subject to controls. All jet skis used in the Waikato need to be registered. Make sure the registration number of your jet ski is clearly visible above the waterline on either side of the craft. There are some areas where jet skis are not allowed, and other areas where they have rights over other recreational vessels. Check with the local harbour master or on the Environment Waikato website. These are just some of the points to be aware of in the Waikato. Remember, the normal navigation and safety rules apply everywhere. The Waikato bylaw ensure that boating activities can be enjoyed safely by all. And just in case you strike trouble on the water, 
there are Coast Guard units throughout the Waikato region. Have fun and enjoy your time with us in the Waikato.